in the studio right now. She's a superstar. It's the one, the only, from Real Housewives of Dubai and many more things. It's Caroline Stanberry. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi, hi. I'm clapping for myself over here. I'm not sure why. You should, why not? Okay. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen Chris so scared. He said, don't swear to you five times. I know, and, and I did immediately. It's awful. <laughs> I just said, don't use any profanity, Caroline. Not that you do, but yeah, you know, you just never know. Um, welcome back. You are, have been jetting across the world. You've been doing all this press for the show. I've seen you in, I think, LA, New York. Then you were in Bali doing some stuff, and you've been around the world doing so much. So um, how was it for season two of Real Housewives? wives of dubai it's been a, a complete whirlwind um you know you know the drill you finish filming and then you go on these press tours and it, we just haven't stopped they always say that you only film for three months it's lies yeah because <laughs> well, they get you doing they get you doing press for the show right yeah yeah and and how was season one compared to season two for you oh my god the dream i'm back i think um season one i was a startled deer i you know i just wasn't used to it i was working before i guess with friends and family and the, these girls are a whole different ball game so and i was doing ivf so this year i'm absolutely my funny self good oh, you got yes. you, feel, you felt like you were back in the game you knew what was coming up because when you do a reality tv show it's like it can be really brutal you actually warned me about it before i got into dubai bling yeah you were giving me like hey just be wary like i don't know if you know what you're getting yourself into right because i still told you to do it chris you did you did and that was yeah i'm gonna and i'm glad i did i never regret yeah. that decision but going for you like you had done reality tv previously uh, years ago uh, ladies, for, of, ladies London. of London now you were saying that you obviously you had some of your family involved so it wasn't that you were controlling the content no but you can't control it you, ever but it was your family so and it was easier with these girls that you have some you had just met some of them whilst yeah. you were filming right yeah I mean, I don't know if it was easier because even if, if you argued, you took it home with you, right? And then my sure. parents would get involved yeah, and everyone yeah, yeah. get involved. But at least I knew the beast. Yeah. And I think um, when you start a reality show with people that you don't know very well, you see a completely different side that mm. maybe you, you just don't like or you're not used to. It, it's hard. Did you ever find that there was people on the show that would do the drama because they knew they'd get more screen time? So they're like, they're all in? 100%. Yeah, I'm yeah. I, thought, I, I saw the same thing happen. <laughs> yeah, where it's because a lot of people would think that it was scripted. Where it's not really it's scripted. Not scripted. People think that you rock up with a with a script and you're like, all right, well, I'm going to say this and you say that. It's not, not right. No, and that's the problem. And I think you know when you do these shows, also you can't control. Some people, I remember you were saying because you wanted to c control the narrative at mm. some points because you're on you know a radio show, and so you had to be a certain way. And, and these things, you can't control the people around you. That's Correct. the problem. You can control what comes out of you, yeah. but you can't control seven other people's reaction to you. Yeah, correct. And that is very daunting for people when you're in a control, you're in a controlled environment. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Can I ask, with, with Real Housewives of Dubai, do you watch it only when it comes out? Only once. But I've never, I, I mean, and, and just once as a viewer. I, don't, I never ever get too into it. And I, that's, yeah. I think, a problem that a lot of the girls on the show have because they watch it and they think about it. I don't watch it and don't think about it. Mm. Funny enough, I don't watch, I, I barely he, watch he it. He doesn't watch it I at all. I barely watch yeah. it. No, I'll, I'll watch one, I'll watch, watch it. Watch one through. As it comes. Yeah. And that's it, I'm done with it. And that's the best way to be because you're not attached to it. Mm. If you're attached to it, I think it takes over your life. But then the reunion, right? Which is yes. which is now. happening this week now, yeah. right? So the reunion is like the big part of it, Chris, yeah. because a lot of times while you're filming, you don't know what's happening behind your back. You don't know what was said, what was done. And it kind of all comes together. You watch it and then you go to the reunion. So... You obviously filmed so many months ago. So when you get to the reunion bit, like how far after the filming are you filming that oh, reunion? We, we are a long time because obviously it was the first season of when Bling and uh, Housewives came out. We were the first reality shows in yeah, the Middle East. Yeah. So as you know, it took a long time for mm. permits and all of these right. things to happen. So, uh, you know, by the time we had done all that, then scheduling to go out in America, we we're a year gone. And then you did the reunion. And then we've done the reunion. So so you've got to remember all the way back. Yeah. But um, it's funny how quickly it all comes back to you. <laughs> <laughs> all the emotions is yes. still there? Oh my God, it was fire. Oh. Was fire. There, is there anyone out of, out of the cast that you're not talking to and you won't talk to anymore? Yes, there's a, a few actually. There's two specific. Tell me. 
Um, I don't talk to Lisa Milan or Caroline Brooks. Okay. Done. You won't ever again, you think? Oh, I never say never. Yep. You never say never. Um, you can't on a reality show, can you? Mm. You're, you're going back in. So it's, it's like a boxing match. Go in, go out, new round. Let's see what happens. But then, how do you do like the reunion when you have those feelings, right? Because but that's the why the reunion is so oh, no, good. No, this is what we like to and watch. And then you end viewer. up probably you go, I hate these girls. And then next season, we're all best friends, stopping with each other. Go, oh, no, I love them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't talk to someone because you said you didn't like them, and the next thing you know, I realize you're friends with them. And now, what? so I, I, I didn't. And then I was like, well, how well, now? She's fine. You I'm meant- not mentioning any names, but there was a person that I didn't talk to because you said you didn't like he's loyal and then I saw you and then I saw you on Instagram all like hanging out and I'm like I didn't even follow her back this person I can't even think who it is but let's not go into it I'm not going to go into it but I I can't handle it you're the worst yeah All right. well Caroline and I became uh, friends uh, many years ago yeah about how many years ago but yeah randomly just sort of crossed paths and then I realised I didn't like her initially I don't think she liked me and then I think we both realised she loves me yeah now no no I do I think you're a great person I think what you what some people's perception of you is not right. Yeah. Can mm. I ask you why do why do people you have such amazing fans, but then you have like I mean I've got trolls as well, right? Mm. But because they know that we're friends, I sometimes get messages mm. about you. What? And I'm like these people are like they're they're obsessed with you. Do you get in there? Do you go? N- I agree. No, I don't. <laughs> he bucks you off. I don't. I don't even open them. I don't want to like even. But like I'll, randomly, occasionally I'll just get a message from someone. Yeah. And you know you can you can open up a message in Instagram without correct, it actually being correct. opened, and it would just be them like how can you be friends with this person that did and i'm just like they're obsessed obsessed i actually had one of those trolls actually wrote to my like the, one of the brands that i work they work <gasps> right to the brands i work with too just trying to like it's not it's it is crazy right yeah. how do you deal with like the fame side of things well i mean exactly i just it's a noise isn't it i yeah. just you have to block it out chris you'll always get you know trolls and and what do you call them keyboard ro- warriors, warriors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like have you ever written something like that no because Never. we're busy yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's right, right. That's yeah right. can i ask you're loaded right um <laughs> Well, you got loads of money. Like uh, I was looking at your house. M- me and my wife were looking at it. The one in England that you had, and it's just amazing. And I was wondering, like, where'd you I get your money from? It. Yeah, <laughs> like, I still like, have that house. He's giving your house. No, because like he's like, like, where do you get your money? No, you see that guy? No, I'm just. I want to know, like, because you've grown up with money. Like, where did it? <laughs> well, I, you know, there was, to teach there was, me. I had trees in the garden that just. Did they just project it? Yeah. No, I work. Yeah. I work. <laughs> no, but you've grown up through money. Like, you used to hang out with, like, loads of famous people. Well, hold on. Do you know, can you just tell everyone real quickly, Caroline Stenberry, the Princess Diana story? Oh, she used to come to the house because my, my son, my sons, my brothers, sorry, were in uh, the same school. So, yes, and in the same class. No, so, yeah, coming crazy? from money, like, yeah. right, where, where, what do you, I don't understand your question here, Ross. Like, what's your actual question? Her family how, had money. How yeah, did your family make money? all the money? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, okay, well, my mother is one of the biggest um, old family names in the in the UK. So, if you look up the books and Debrett's, my mother's there. And then my father had a very, very big um, fashion company called Alexon back in the day and my mom is a vestie which is you know one of the they were the first actual butchers in the in the uk were they wow. really mm. how do you spell the surname oh, just, uh, just just tell there's him. no one left for you to marry if that's yeah. what you're trying <laughs> so, like, I mean, that's it you're not coming that's um, amazing it's just you know rossi come on i'll be polite to our guests you just can't, can't just ask them how did you make your money yeah like come on ross oh, sorry. the only thing old about me rossi <laughs> is the money. Um, all right, Real Housewives of Dubai. You can watch season two if you're into that type of stuff. If you're not, you don't have to. But if you want to watch it, it is on OSN Plus. Plus. Yep. You can see you can see the uh, the ever so cool Caroline Stanbury and the rest of the cast members on there as well. Um, if I got a question for you right now before we get into this game, if you were put into jail, right? Who is the one cast member on Real Housewives of Dubai that you would call? to get you out who would be able to do it do you think who would you rely on oh my god to get me out well chanel forgive me but she would uh, like leave me there for two weeks yeah. so, <laughs> no um i that would get me out get you out probably um 
Oh, Sarah Almadani. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Should, should be the one? Well, she's connected here, isn't she? Okay. She's, yeah. At least she's local. <laughs> yeah. She'd so know who to call. You would know. Okay. But you would also feel like she would go out there and help you, right? Oh, she would come get me. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. I That's like that. That's good to know. All right. We're playing the red flag game right now. Uh, and this is, explain how this works, Pretty. So we've got a bowl with different scenarios in there of uh, situations that may arise when you're dating a guy, Caroline. Ooh. So you're going to pick one out, read it out, and tell us if you think this is a red flag if a guy does it where's fake luxury items oh okay what do you think if he's wearing fake luxury items you know it you're on a first date are you in or out is that a red flag it's a red flag oh. yeah. yeah he's pretending to be someone he's not but we do live in the middle east in dubai yeah so. well hold on half of rossi's wardrobe he, he wears dior and gucci every second day yeah you yeah. know those short suit shorts and shirts there's a lot of people here in fake stuff yeah, yeah. i've I'll got a good honest. guy if you need a number let me know. <laughs> <laughs> okay so fake is red flag oh. okay off. Off, okay. Okay, we'll put next that one, one down. What's next? He's in between jobs. So you, first date, you ask him, what do you do? And he goes, oh, I'm just actually in between jobs right now. Is that a red flag, Caroline Stanberry? Red flag. Oh, oh. wow. Why? Um, Because I don't know. I would want, I, well, actually, I don't know. I Probably I'd want someone that knows where he's going. Okay. okay. What about if he's got loads of Instagram Not followers? <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram followers. I've never dated anyone with a load of Instagram followers. I don't know. Okay. okay. All right. Next one. Let's okay. go. Red flags with Caroline Stanberry. We've so got a far, few more. It's, it's been all red flags so far. Okay. Mm -hmm. He drives a second-hand car. I, no problem with that. Oh, okay. great. Okay. Good. So green flag. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, fine as well. That's fine. Could, could be a, a two, Rolls Royce. Could, yeah. could be a 2009-19 uh, Ferrari. Hey, that's a second-hand car. That's fine. Yeah, he's driven out of the showroom. I have no problem with mm. that. Okay. Yeah, okay. He gets cool. upset if you do a girls' night. Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> Does he get upset? Oh, my God. Well, he just he wants comes to be, with me. Yeah, he wants to be part <laughs> of it. I, I haven't had a girls' night since I met him. Actually, <laughs> let's turn the attention here to your great friend, Chris Fade. Yeah. You also don't like it if Brianna does a mm. ladies night. I'm okay with her. No, you're not. You, no, I just want to be there with yes, her. Yes, same. But I'm okay with her. No, no, no. You that's have not FOMO. a girl's night. Yeah, it's FOMO. It's, not it's FOMO. a girl's night if you go with her. Yeah, because you know what? Your, Sergio your husband, comes with me. Your husband, Sergio, and I are actually pretty similar, similar where we are very sensible oh my God, and this grounded. This is you and Sergio again. What is it? He speaks to his parents every day. <laughs> Yeah. Both. Is that a, is that a red flag? Well, I just, no, it's a green flag. I, it used to annoy that annoy me. Yeah. But now I'm like he treats his parents that way. He'll treat, treat you me like that. that. Way. Oh, look at you! You're so happy. That's so Sergio. true. I yeah. love Sergio. So basically, wanna... I'm married to you. That, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you, if, but if you want to know how a man okay. will treat you, see how he treats his family. It's always, very true. I always think that. Do you know and what I mean? You know where he is right now? He's in Mykonos with his, on, with his mother. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank you. He's in Mykonos with mom. Yeah, I mean, you've got to see the stories. That's... They're in a little convertible going around town together. I'm like, what are you talking That's about? So That's cute. cute. That's so, cute, though. Such so a weird. lovely guy. <laughs> so weird. All right, last one. He doesn't plan regular dates. So Sergio does that all the time. Like, we have to have date night, and I know you do that, so yeah. this is you. Who put these questions in pretty, there? Pretty, pretty, so and doing together. So are you not for, like, regular date nights? Is that not something that you want? I married him. Do we need to date? Very interesting take. You've got to keep it alive, and Caroline. The, well, hold on. The big thing that we haven't mentioned here, there is a good age difference between the two of oh, you. there you go, Chris. Oh, you talk about he it. Come on. He said it, not me. Yeah, no, but what's the age difference between 19 you and... 19 years. 19 years. You're older 19 years than Sergio. I know. Does that happen this way round? It's okay to happen, right? You no, guys, it's great. You guys you talk about You look the same it. age, though? Yes. Well, I had a facelift, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I love her honesty. <laughs> it's true, and I think that's the one, yeah. the one thing about Caroline that I do love is you're totally open about it all. Like, you, yeah. you know, facelift for the age difference, yeah. uh, whatever it is. It's, and I think that's the, the true way to be, you know? Exactly. I think that's so the true I way to be. basically brought him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Let's not start going back and looking at the age difference yeah. when you get younger. So, I mean, well, can I just say something? Yeah. You're going to be, God willing, uh, 70 years one day. Yeah. And he's going to be what? 51, is it? I don't know. Yeah, 51. Yeah, He'll be 51 years old. Do you think that's going to be okay? Do you think about that? I do think about that. Now I look 25, so it's fine. Yeah. But um, I don't worry about that. You know, what will be will be. That's okay. Good on you. Yeah. Good on you. Caroline Stanberry, yeah. give her a big round of applause. Virtual Radio.